What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video let's continue from where we left off in our uh, maps application. Uh, in our last video we saw how to add multiple markers on a map, right? Uh, technically we saw how to do geocoding. We saw how to use a geocoding plug geocoder plugin and then uh, get in a, uh, get an address from the user and uh, geocode it into latitude and longitude coordinates which we then uh, displayed using a marker on the map. So in this video what we'll do is we'll see how to uh, store a marker on Firestore and retrieve the same from Firestore. Okay, so uh, if you didn't store the markers what would happen? Once you close the app all the data would get vanished and when you reopen the app uh, there will be no markers present, right? But if you had a way wherein whenever you add a marker, the coordinates are stored on to some, st some sort of database at the back, then uh, whenever you close the app and reopen the app, you could automatically pull all the coordinate dat coordinates data from uh, your database and then simply display them as markers on your map, right? That's how most of the location-based applications work. So uh, in this video, what we are going to see is first I have a set of coordinates here. I have three coordinates and uh, uh, how to create these coordinates simply add a document auto ID and then here you need to give whatever uh, codes that you need to give and uh, here give geo point. If you give geo point it will automatically have two fields latitude and longitude right. Uh, this field name could be anything I am just giving it as codes. And uh, this is where you provide the latitude and longitude coordinates that you want. Geopoint is a data type guys, that's what I wanted to introduce uh, by showing you this. Uh, anyway, this is how you add a coordinate uh, inside Firestore collection. And this is another field that I have called place. Uh, for now it's just dummy. As you can see it's places USA, uh, places America and uh, places North America. I'm just using it as a dummy. Uh, anyway, let's see how to retrieve all these three markers and place them inside our application uh, sorry not application maps right uh, as of now how is it available we are just making a call to set markers which in turn sets all the markers right so we'll uh, go for an even cleaner approach than this what we'll do is we'll uh, this is a widget right the body expects a widget uh, so we'll return a widget from a different function that will be a much cleaner approach right so I'll write a function here widget get sorry get uh, sorry load maps load map this will not only load our map it will also load all our markers inside the map uh, as usual return here I'll use a stream kindly if you haven't watched my previous video on fire so reading data from firestore collections kindly watch it once that's the primary reason why I uploaded that video before uh, going for this one so first we need to as usual go get into pubspec.yaml and install the cloud sorry, cloud Firestore dependency, save this, it'll automatically get installed, come back to main.dart and then here as well import it, import package cloud firestore cloud firestore dot dart. Now you can simply go ahead and uh, use a stream builder. So what's the stream builder? I pretty much explained it uh in a detailed way in my previous video i'll just give a quick uh, recap stream builder is nothing but it's for uh, we use stream builders to whenever we sorry i think i'm confusing you guys now that we have added the import we can make use of uh, stream right uh, firestore data will always arrive in a stream because it's arriving over a period of time so I'll return a stream builder which again is a widget so no issues there stream builder and uh, inside this the stream which I need to specify is fire sorry fire store dot uh, instance dot 
collection markers dot snapshots cool now this will return all the uh, data present here or uh, that is these three documents and uh, i'll use a builder context snapshot this is a function inside this function if uh, if not snapshot dot has data uh, return text loading maps please wait wait okay and then what i lose i'll we need to iterate through these three markers right and then add those three markers to a list which we'll be making use of inside the uh, map so what i'll do is uh, for int i equals zero is simplest way of iteration int i equals zero i less than snapshot snapshot sorry, snapshot dot data dot documents dot length i plus plus which means that i'm increasing it is a simple for loop guys you guys would probably know this already if you are into programming any type of programming it's an iterator statement that's it uh, all markers is the list of our name right i mean name of our list right sorry uh, all markers dot add once again how should we add this we need to new marker right where is it instead of first dot coordinates i need to add uh, snapshot dot data dot documents of i and here as well I need to add chords dot uh, latitude chords dot longitude here as well I need to This is fine. Now you understand what I have done here, right? Uh, I'm iterating through this li uh, list of returned documents and then I'm simply uh, uh, adding markers for each and every instance of the document. That is documents dot i, documents of zero will give the first document, document of one will give the second document. You understand how to iterate through a set of uh, data, right? I don't think I need to explain all these in depth. So uh, this is the place, place is nothing but the uh, other field that we have. This is coords, that's the field that we have as a geo point. So coords dot latitude will give us the latitude of the particular uh, uh, coordinate and uh, the longitude will give the longitude of the particular coordinate. Using these two, we are creating a marker and uh, we are placing that marker on our map. Cool. Now uh, we'll bring this entire map as well here. Return new flutter map is there, right? Okay, this is where the for loop ends. We'll just give a flutter map here and give a return statement. And inside this markers will be instead of set markers, it will simply be all markers. Cool. Fine. Now everything is done in a better way, and here we just need to give. Now this function will return this flutter map and inside this flutter map our map gets loaded and the markers will be set to the list all markers and all markers is nothing but the uh, collection of latitude and longitude coordinates which we have fetched from uh, Firestore uh, markers collection 
and then uh, we are simply iterating through whatever data that we have received and uh, populating the all markers list with the uh, list of coordinates that's it now let's run this and see what happens so far so good let's run this and see what happens okay just to show the uh, real time thing i'll just add one more document here in in essence i'll add one more marker here and that marker should appear on our map in real time right i'll zoom out a little bit so that we have more uh, space to play with i'll add it just above this one okay uh, what's the coordinates of that one 40.62 something i think 69 something yeah I'll give auto ID, field uh, codes, and uh, type will be geo point. Latitude will be forty point six seven, and this will be minus seventy four point zero two. Okay, I'll add one more field. Place uh, United States. Okay. I'll just click on tap on save and let's see what happens. It should instantaneously appear on our map as soon as it gets saved. Let's see if that happens. Wow, you can see that a fourth marker has been added here on our map, right? So uh, you, you, you understand what's happening here, right? Uh, we are technically uh, this map is still connected uh, th that this entire thing happens because we are using streams. Streams represent data that is arriving over a period of time. So whenever a new marker gets added to a Firestore collection, that data comes into our application, which is then made into a marker and then placed on our map. So what will happen if we try to remove one document? In that case, this marker won't go away because you are not refreshing the uh, UI of the map, right? Uh, in that case, you need to remove one marker from the all markers list. You get why it doesn't get removed, right? Uh, we are simply adding all the markers that we receive in the stream inside our uh, all markers list, guys. If you want to remove a marker, then once the marker gets removed from this Firestore collection, you need to remove that same marker from the all markers list as well, right? Only then it will get removed in this screen. I can't show you the code now because uh, the Dart plugin in VS Code and the screencast software both try to access the mobile device at the same time and uh, the computer hangs a bit. Uh, you understand what I'm trying to say here, right? Uh, so uh, at a time I can only use either the screencasting software or the uh, VS Code uh, editor. This is the reason why I show most of the demos in the emulator, but uh, for some crazy reason the emulator doesn't work now. So I had to connect my mobile device and screencast it. Anyway, this is the point of this entire video, guys. Now you see how to save markers to a particular uh, firestore collection and then whenever the app gets loaded the markers are automatically retrieved and placed on the screen cool right i need to zoom out a little bit so that you can see the fourth marker as well nice so this is what i wanted to show you guys today in the next video we will see how to uh, add a marker from this screen itself you just click on this uh, add button and uh, you will get a dialog in which you can type an address. Click on add marker. Once you click on it, the marker will get automatically added to the Firestore collection as well as added to the, uh, if it gets added to the Firestore collection, then it will automatically be added to the map as well, right? So we'll see how to do that in our next video. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you found this helpful, kindly click, kindly share it with someone and help them too. Kindly click on the thumbs up button so that uh, YouTube algorithm picks up my video and suggests it to other suggests it to other people as well. Uh, I don't know for some reason YouTube never suggests my video outside of India. Uh, I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, uh, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. It's free, obviously. Uh, thanks, thanks for all the people who are already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel, and I'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.